Now the arrival of the Spanish is a oft-told story and well-known. European explorers start poking around in 1492. Uh, by 1519, they're into Mexico. By 1521, the entire Aztec civilization has collapsed. Uh, and it's remarkable because the Aztecs numbered in the low millions and the Spanish that invaded their territory numbered in the low thousands. So how did they prevail? How did the Spanish come in and make such a huge impact and systematically collapse all these vast empires? Well, for starters, you have Indians that are using this technology. This is fairly advanced technology. You would recognize it as an arrow with a stone or a lithic point. But what the Spanish had was steel. And the steel made short work of this. Pink bounce right, bounces right off. So technologically, the Spanish had the edge. Not only that, but they also had millions of auxiliaries that they could draw on. They exploited the political chaos within the Mexica Empire and then later the Incas and other Indian empires uh, and played one group off against another. So the people that were out of power that wanted to be in power saw the Spanish as a necessary and useful tool for regaining their status. When in fact what happens is the Spanish use these Indian auxiliaries to overthrow the existing order and then all the Indians are vanquished. Uh, they all have a subservient role. Some of them continue to serve as Indian allies to the Spanish. Others are simply vassals. But all of them suffer from disease. The Spanish introduce smallpox. They introduce other sorts of uh, diseases like typhus. And uh, the Indians are carried off in great numbers. A cataclysmic uh, event that is devastating to the indigenous peoples of the Americas. So how did the Spanish prevail? Well, steel, germs, and a little bit of fervor in what they were doing. And the Indians had never seen anything quite like them.